So I was right about the TRX. It's not a hundred thousand, but it's ninety-five thousand dollars. And I calculated everything up. This is a three. So it's the night before I leave driving and as a good husband, I need to leave my wife with a full tank of gas in the car. So we're just gonna run to the gas station and fill up the car for her. Got the car started up. And I'm gonna do a quick look at our house. I got the Christmas lights up recently. It is winter time and it's freezing, so let's hit those seat warmers and turn on that heater. We got 25 miles to empty and I'm not gonna leave her an empty tank. So let's go fill it up for her. Also, I got the windows so tinted that you can't really see at night while backing up onto the road. One awesome thing is that we live uh, only one mile away from our uh, Kroger and our Kroger has a fuel station right next to it. Our fuel is 289. $60.44 I'm just gonna run inside Kroger and grab some snacks and sweets for my wife and kids That's for you. And I got all my stuff packed for the road. I like to get all this stuff done the night before because I usually wake up early, 4.30, 5 a.m. And I'm most likely gonna get, forget something in the morning. So it is 6.30 in the morning. We just got all our stuff in the car, warmed up the car. And let's head to the truck. So we just pulled into the lot and my truck is already started. Usually when my brother is here first, he starts up my truck and usually he's always here first. So before I head out, I usually check on the load and I check all the tires with the air gauge. Headed out. We are going to Tampa, Florida. And we got two drops there, and it's about a 12 and a half hour drive. But we won't be able to make it there today, so we're gonna be just driving today. No unloading, no loading, just driving. 11 hours, stop somewhere right before Tampa and unload in Tampa, Florida tomorrow. back 
workout on the road. I usually do two weeks driving, one week home, home every weekend. But when uh, I get back out on the road after a week off, especially on a Monday, I have to get back into the work cycle since I was just having a relaxed week at home. And I'm usually tired on Mondays and it's hard to get back into the work schedule. So uh, getting back into it and we are still driving in Kentucky. I left this morning, it's a Monday. I usually drive till Friday night. And sometimes when I pass through home, when we're going, from Michigan to Florida, Michigan to Tennessee, back up to Michigan or Ohio. I pass through my hometown and I always uh, stop by at home for the night. Not always, but whenever my logbook ends. So we just entered the border of Tennessee and we're driving up this big hill called Jellico Mountain. And I'll show you how slow we go up this hill. We're going uh, 45 miles an hour up this hill. We got some beautiful rocks, cliffs right here. But even with 500 horsepower coming up this hill, can't get it over 45, 50 miles an hour. I'm not too heavy loaded right now, but here's an example of how how fast the cars pass us once we're going this slow. And then I just caught up with this guy. So I'm gonna switch over with nobody's there and pass this guy going up this hill. He's probably more heavier and he probably got a smaller engine under that long hood. We're passing Knoxville right now. If anybody lives here, wave hi. Well, I used to live here. I actually lived here for a year and a half before I moved to Lexington. But I like Knoxville. I got a lot of relatives that live here. So it's been five hours since I left my house and I haven't stopped anywhere for anything yet. And I'm getting hungry because it's 1 p.m. and I still haven't ate anything today. So I just heated up some yummy food that my wife made me yesterday. She meal preps for me. I haven't walked in eight hours. Ooh. Feels good to be walking again. So I stopped somewhere here in Georgia at a rest area. I don't know exactly where, but this is what I got on my trailer and truck. I got a full minivan, Chrysler Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica, all brand new, Ram 1500, another Ram 1500, they got the Ram TRX, wow, that's a pricey one, and we got a Pacifica, so each one of these Pacificas has a sticker price of uh, 38900 And I got four of them. That's a big truck. I gotta, had to grab it by the frame in the rear to tie it down in order to make height. And then uh, grabbed it by the back wheels here and by the frame in the front. All the Pacificas are just by the wheels. Then this truck is uh, grabbed by the frame as well. So let's do a quick calculation of how much all of these cars are worth. This one is 39,900. This one is 52,500. This one is 52500 as well. A TRX is gonna be pricey. Might not even have a sticker.
I was right. There isn't no sticker here. Bet you anything it's worth like around 100K if not more since it's a TRX. And then let's see how much these Pacificas are worth. 39,100. So it's safe to say that one's 39 as well and this one's 39 as well. So I was right about the TRX. It's not a hundred thousand, but it's ninety-five thousand dollars. And I calculated everything up. This is a three hundred fifty-five thousand dollar load, which is not too too much because when we do a full load of BMWs, each BMW is worth up to eighty k. Some of them are worth even a hundred k. So when we do BMWs, we're around seven hundred k. But these are just, these are just Dodge and Chryslers. guys that's a wrap for today's video I'm gonna be done driving within the next hour and finding a place to park for the night thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more